Welcome to Classic Cars, here with Michael Bright and Murray McDonald. Um, today we're in Dublin, Georgia, over at the Southern Pines, doing the cruise in at the Pines. Um, today I'll be talking to Michael Bright, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his car. Hey, yeah, I'm Michael Bright, and I've got a, a 2004 Chevrolet SSR. Uh, they actually made 26,100 of them between 2003-2006. And this is a 2004, and they actually only did a 1,300 in this color, which is ultraviolet. Uh, it does have the Vortex 3.5 engine in it, 300 horsepower, and I'm loving it, man, enjoying it. Amen. <laughs> now, Michael, you do several shows. I know I met you years ago down in Oak Park, Georgia, back when I actually participated in the shows. Um, tell us a little bit about the show you have coming up. Okay, for the past 10 years, I've been hosting the uh, Pine Tree Festival sh Car and Truck Show, which is in uh, Swainsboro, Georgia. And uh, that's always the first Saturday of May every month, uh, every year, rather, and this year it'll be May the 7th. And um, we usually have you know, a little bit over 100 cars out there. We do the top 40, and that'll be this year, May 7th, uh, 2016, coming up. And uh, I've been doing, like I said, about 10 years, and uh, any cars is, is welcome out there. It's an open car show. Good, good. Uh, we look forward to uh, maybe bringing classic cars down there and talk to a couple of uh, your participants and uh, kind of see what you have going on down there. Yeah, that'd be great because uh, the thing about the festival, too, is this is the longest-running festival in the state of Georgia, and this is the 70th first year this year. So you have 10 to 15,000 people come to this festival every year, and uh, we're actually have the car show right downtown Highway 80. They block out, you know, block up the whole Swainsboro area downtown. So you got quite a few people will see your car if you come and bring it in. Wow! Now you're also a merchant in down in there, right? Don't you have your own store? That's right. I'm the manager at the Main Street Market Antique Mall, which is right downtown Highway 80, and we actually do the car show right in front of the show the, uh, of the store. There we have over. 50 antique dealers in there, and I've been actually been in antique business all my life. <laughs> wow. And you're also in the DJ, aren't you? You still doing DJ work? Well, I used to do that. I used to do a lot of DJing for the car shows, but now I got so busy with Antique Mall, I had to slow it down. So. Amen. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, Michael, I'm so glad you took the time out of your schedule today of getting your car ready for the show here at Cruising the Pines uh, to just to speak to us today. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you all. Thank you. Best of luck. We're here today with George Brinson, as I know him, Jr., noted for many years. Um, he's been in the car show business for many, many years, and uh, I've seen his face around a lot of the shows I've been to. And uh, today I'm going to talk to Junior about uh, what he's brought today. I brought a 70 Ford Ranch Era. Well, that's uh, it's a dry car, but it's a street legal. Street legal. Yeah. But wow. I, I ride around town in it, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which well, sure is pretty. You got a lot of beautiful cars. Uh, yeah. Tell us all the cars you do have. I have a 48 Chevy pickup, a 65 Volkswagen Roaster, a 67 Volkswagen Super Beater, I have a 51 Ford Custom Deluxe, a 55 Chevy Bel Air, and a 73 Pinto Wagon Squire, and a 55 Chevy Bel Air. Okay. Yeah. Well, I believe the Bel Air actually took first in its class here last year, and uh, yeah, wasn't that, that right? Did. And also, um, I think over at the Mount Olive Church in Nazarene with the little Pinto wagon, didn't you take first with it also? Yeah, I also got it too over there in the, the Mount Olive Church. Good. So we're kind of looking for a first today out of this one. I hope so. Anyway. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? It sure would. It sure would. <laughs> now, how many years have you been doing this? I started in 79. 1979. Yeah. And then I got in the Statesboro Car Club. I was in that club for about 15 years. And then when I got out of that club, I started a club in Swainsboro. Okay. And I've been doing that car show for 20, uh, next year it'll be 21 years. All right. Mm -hmm. Now when is that show coming up? It'll be the first week in September. In September. Yeah. Okay, so that's a different show than Mr. Bright puts on. Right, that's a different. That's a, okay. He does the Pine Tree Festival. Okay. Yeah, and I does I, I does one in September. In September. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's like you, we may bring classic cars down there and uh, see what you got going on. Well, I'd be just glad to have yeah. you down there. Yeah. Good. Uh -huh. Good. All right, no and uh, we sure appreciate you coming today here to Dublin, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. I'm here with uh, Curtis Brinson. And uh, Mr. Doug Bennett, uh, they're here today in Dublin at our Cruising the Pines, and they have something unique today. They have the rat rods. That's something new that's coming into the shows, and uh, we're going to talk to them about their rat rods today. Yeah. 
I've got a 46 Ford, four-door sedan, suicide doors, uh, five inches out of the top. She's uh, got a little S10 chassis on her, power steering, power brakes. I drive her everywhere and have fun in it. Amen. And Curtis, what you got for us today? I, I got a 67 Ford F750, uh, air brakes. I just dropped it on the ground. It was born in the world a, a fifth wheel. It had a fifth wheel on it, a tractor truck. Got air brakes and just lowered it down and and drive it and have fun with it. Now, how would you say that you approach the rat rod? What would you call what you do? Well, a lot of these cars, that uh, there's so, a lot of them call them so far gone that uh, we go out there and drag them out and make something out of them, put late model chassis on it, and still make them survivors that they are not to the scrap yards. And uh, these younger people can enjoy them and we can drive them. Uh, like this man, young man over here just told me that he dragged his out from underneath the tree yeah. and <laughs> saved it. Amen. It's so, been uh, about 10 years, and wow. and it didn't make it to the scrap. That one That's was good. going to the scraps <laughs> with a 54 Mercury, and I saved it. I couldn't get to the Mercury, but I saved this one. So. Amen. Well, they're, they're nice vehicles, and uh, we look forward to seeing more of these and shows to, that's upcoming. We're here in Dublin, Georgia today with um, Will Gay. With Will Gay. Now, Will, where are you from? Millen. From Millen, Millen Georgia. Georgia, okay. Mm -hmm. What county is Millen in? Jenkins. Jenkins County, okay. Uh, what kind of car do you have here today? It's a uh, 1966 Corvette convertible. Okay, now did you inherit the car? Has it been in your family a long well, time? Well, it's kind of got a good story to it. Years ago, my aunt and uncle bought the car back in probably 1990. Okay. And anyway, they kept the car for 10 or 12 years, and then they sold the car. Well, several years down the road, they had a few cars in between, and anyway, I had just wondered where the car had gotten off to. Yeah. So I called the guy that bought the car originally from them, and he told me where all it had been sold to. And it went from Milling, Georgia, from where they finally found it back into Delaware. Wow. So that we went to Delaware and picked up the car. My aunt and uncle went and picked the car back up and brought it back to the house and restored it to what it looks like today. Good. Now, how long have you been showing this car? Probably since 2010. Okay. You know. All right. We showed it from 90 to about 2002, then from 2010 to now. <laughs> okay. So, is it pretty much all original? It is. It's pretty much all original. Because the paint is beautiful on yeah. it. We had it, we had it repainted. Lewis Perriman of Milling, Georgia, LP Restorations restored the car. Good. And um, replaced the carpet and most everything far as the original chrome on the inside, the knobs and all are original to the car. The motors are numbers matching to the car. Wow. Um, so it's just it's just been semi-redone, yeah. you know. Well, that's awesome history you have with the car and uh, always like a good car story to go along with them. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you coming out today here to Dublin, Georgia, the rec department and supporting uh, Habitat for Humanity as um, we reach out to build homes for different ones. Yes, sir. Well, we're glad to be here. Thank you, and best of luck in the show. Thank you so much. I'm Marcus Clements with Clements & King Insurance. Did you know one out of two people over age 60 will spend time in a nursing facility before their death? Are you covered should you experience expenses for a nursing home assisted living? Call Clements & King Insurance. We've been providing for many years long-term care insurance for those of Lawrence County and the surrounding communities. Call us today. Landmark Cafe and Market is located in the historical skyscraper in downtown Dublin and is open Monday to Friday, 10 to 3. Enjoy freshly made specialty salads, sandwiches, paninis and wraps along with Landmark Cafe's delicious side items. Everything is freshly made including an assortment of bakery goods. Landmark Cafe will provide corporate deliveries of 10 or more entrees. Call 277-0160 for your deliveries and takeouts. Enjoy a fresh and healthy meal with your friends and co-workers at Landmark Cafe and Market, located on the first floor of the historical skyscraper in downtown Dublin. We hope to see you soon. Welcome to Classic Cars, and ladies and gentlemen, I actually ran into the man himself, Mr. Locke Wilford with Dublin Chevrolet. Locke and his company has just supported the community uh, just in all kind of ways from 
every car show I've ever put on, Locke has been there. He's never hesitated to ever jump right in there with both feet and help us. Uh, Locke, would you like to say a few words today? I would, Murray. We're always glad to be a part of what you put on. And uh, with these car shows, it's great for our community. We see all these cars come in here. It's exciting. Even right now, going in behind me, I hear them coming in. We're excited about what's going on out here. Good, good. Well, Locke, I just want to tell you how much we do appreciate you and all the work you do. Thank you so much, Murray. Keep your good work up. We're here in Dublin, Georgia at Cruising the Pines today with David Hackle. With David Hackle. Okay, David, uh, how long have you been showing your car? Uh, this the second show I've put it in. Second show? Yeah. Uh, what kind of car do you have here today? 67 Camaro. 67 Camaro. Yeah. Um, how long have you had the car? Uh, about 10 years. I've been restoring it for the last okay. seven, eight years. So. so you've took it basically from the chassis up and restored yeah. it? Yeah, complete restore Good. everything. Now, where are you from? Where are you uh, Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Hackle. You, uh, you don't have any relatives run dirt track, do you? That's uh, Hackles. I, I used to run dirt track. I knew the name 10, sounded, 10, 10 or 15 years ago. You sure? Okay. Because I recognize that name. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, yeah, it's running Cochran sometimes. You sure did. You sure did. <laughs> yes, Good man. to see you. Good to see yeah, you. And I appreciate you coming out today. I'm here today with Red Mobley, and uh, he's got his little tea bucket with him today. And, Red, what can you tell us about it? The only thing I, I know, it's a 23-mile tea bucket, and it got a Chevrolet engine in it, uh, 400, uh, four-speed. It moves on pretty good. Amen. Yeah, I saw you getting out of the trailer this <laughs> yeah. morning, and it was moving on pretty good. <laughs> you did good. Yeah. And uh, uh, I think this is the second or third time I've seen you uh, at car shows yeah. with it, and uh, it usually does pretty good. Place is good with it. My last, my first show was last year at, uh, at the Moore Station. At the Moore show. Station, and then I've been to, I carried it two in Macon and over at. Uh, at the Grace Baptist Grace one factor yeah. and that's one here, yeah, and yeah, I've done, done fairly good with well, it. Good. Yeah. We appreciate you yeah. coming out and supporting right. the Habitat as you've done for the past yeah. couple of years yeah. with doing it. Um, and we appreciate everything yeah. you do in the community. Uh, yeah. Is um, I believe you're a retired fireman, is that yes, right? Yes, I'm yeah. a retired fireman after yeah. 50 years. Yeah, we can't say thank you <laughs> enough for the job you've done down there at the city okay. as a fireman. and. Uh, we just appreciate you continuing yeah. after your retirement to support yeah. the community in the way you do. We're here today with Mr. Ralph Mullis, a good friend of mine, been a friend of mine for years. Uh, he's always participated in our car shows, and he's been very supportive in the cause of Habitat. And today we're going to talk to him about um, his truck. He has a 1940 Chevy pickup truck. Uh, how would um, what, what would you say about that today, Ralph? Well, I tell you what, it took a long time for, uh, getting it all put together, but you know, uh, I had a place down in Alma, Georgia, that put the car, I mean, took it apart, painted it, and put it right back, you know, put it back together, you know, so I was grateful for that, you know. Yes, sir. Because that's a lot, that was a lot of work to it. Yeah. Uh, now, you also have your Corvette, have you still got it? Yeah, I got a 1978 uh, Chevrolet Corvette, and it's a 25th anniversary edition, and I'm working on it to get where I can bring it to. So. Good, because we're looking very forward to seeing that. Uh, I've seen you kind of give it a little debut going through the parade one time, and yeah. I think that's about as close as I've been to it, but it's a beautiful car. Very beautiful car. It's got the anniversary colors, you know, black and it, silver. Yeah, black and silver is beautiful. Beautiful car. Uh, but Ralph, we do appreciate all you do. You're welcome. And, I, I, I tell you, I, I'm glad it can, you know, help you know, that, the habitat for humanity and what else, you know, because I love coming and meeting the people, seeing yes, them sir. over and over, just you know, meeting new people, you know. Yeah. Now, Ralph, you're also in the Shriners, right? Yes, I'm in the Shriners. Uh, well, I'm a uh, member of the Wayfair Shrine Unit here in Dublin, the Cochrane Blackley Shrine Club in Cochrane, the Dodge County Shrine Club in uh, Eastman, and I don't know. There's several more. I stay yeah, pretty busy. Sir. You sure do. <laughs> and uh, like I said, we, we appreciate everything you do and all those organizations that you joined and head up. Uh, also, if I remember, didn't you pull David Reagan's race car? Yeah, we had a uh, uh, David Reagan's race car, and uh, I don't know why. Uh, you know, uh, we should have brought it out here today. Yes, sir. Because uh, it, it generates a lot of money. Uh, it's usually about... Thirty, thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars a year that we yes, sir. we generate for the uh, Shriners Hospital for children, crippled and burned children, you know. 
And uh, if, if anybody's got a crippled or a burned child, if they get a hold of myself or Red Mobley or Robert Drew, we'd be glad to get them in there. And uh, it's, it's free of charge, everything. It's good. Those, uh, you know, if they, but it's, it's good that we can help people like yes, that. Yes, sir. And I know they all appreciate it uh, and all, all that you do and getting all the money raised for that. We do appreciate you, Ralph, and All uh, right. just glad you come out today. I'm here with Christy and Dwayne Kanegi, and uh, they're with Kanegi Photographs, uh, photographing, photography, uh, photography <laughs> here in Dublin, Georgia. Um, Christy, I don't know what I can say. Basically, uh, everything from day one has really been the backbone of Moore Station Village's car shows. Uh, just all she's done has just been outstanding. And today, a lot of this you see around you, and if you saw in our, during our show today, all this is due to Christy's real hard work. Uh, she's just, an, I just can't say it enough how outstanding job Christy does in our community and getting this kicked off every year and really helping out Habitat. Uh, but she's our backbone, and I know she doesn't like to really be in the spotlight, but I want to take the opportunity to just say thank you for all you do. It's, there's a lot of people involved, including yourself, Murray, so um, it's a team effort for sure. Well, I just want to tell you, we sure do appreciate you. And Dwayne, her wonderful husband, <laughs> has supported us from day one with his donations to Habitat and just how he's actually taking pictures out here of our cars and the hard work he's done to just kind of make it we're able to actually put this on with his support we could not do it without his support but um it, i just want to tell you thank you to wayne and uh, is there anything you like to say and Enjoy talk about it. just come uh, come see me i'm a spy specialist and okay <laughs> now let's go a little deeper than that don't you you have your actual studio in dublin yes sir okay now how long have you been there since november of 2015 since 2015 now, do they have to uh, call you in advance and set it up? Yes, by always, appointment. By appointment yeah. only. Okay. Yes, There's also right. a website with information on yeah. how to contact Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I tell you, she's super, ain't she? She is. <laughs> she she super, is, no doubt. Super woman. Super great woman. Um, but we do appreciate everything you do. And uh, you do beautiful work. I've seen Thank your you. work. Thank and, you. Uh, do an outstanding job. I appreciate it. Thank y'all both. You. I'm with Tracy Morgan with uh, Morris Bank uh, here in Dublin, Georgia. Uh, Morris Bank has really been behind our car shows for the past six years, and we appreciate uh, everything they do to support our uh, car shows, and we appreciate y'all coming out today. Sure. It's exciting. What a beautiful day we've got today. It couldn't be any better. Y'all need to come on out this morning. We, we are always excited to be in the community and support as many causes as we can, and Habitat for Humanity is such an incredible cause, and we just couldn't, we couldn't plan to be anywhere any better today. Great. Well, we sure appreciate y'all coming out, and we appreciate everything Morris Bank does in the community. You see Morris's name everywhere. Right. Everywhere you go, where your downtown areas, so you go out in the new construction of the homes, how Morris Bank just reaches out to everyone in the community and the great job they do and just keeping everything at hometown banking. Thank you. I'm here with Christian Cheek of uh, Middle Georgia Mechanical Heating and Air. Uh, that is Dwayne Edge. Yeah. Uh, Dwayne has sponsored the Moore Station Village Car Show, and uh, again this year he has supported the Lawrence County uh, Car Show here at the Rec Department. And we just want to say thank you for all y'all done and the outstanding work he's always done with uh, allowing people to see his cars. A lot of people don't know his collection he has, yes, and. He does. Uh, the great job that he does here in the community with his business. Um, you know, everywhere you go, you see Middle Georgia Mechanical <laughs> signs in our new home construction. Um, you see them in a lot of our residential areas, our commercial areas, a lot of diff different places you go, and uh, just see the great work that Dwayne and his people has done. And uh, we just like to say thank you for uh, all you've done. Well, thank you. We appreciate the opportunity to be able to be here, be able to serve our community and play a part in it. Uh, we love to meet and greet people and, and uh, get to, like I say, play a part in, in great things like this. It's a really great cause for the Habitat for Humanity. They do, they do a lot a lot of good out here, so we appreciate that. We appreciate the um, opportunity to be here today. So Thank you. If you're considering buying or selling property in Middle Georgia, the Kite Law Firm is dedicated to providing you with a professional and very comfortable real estate closing experience. Emily Kite has over a decade of successful real estate practice in our community. The Kite Law Firm specializes in residential and commercial real estate closings. 
log on to kitelawfirm.com or call 275-4572 today. The Kite Law Firm, located on the second floor of the historical Fred Roberts Hotel in the heart of downtown Dublin. When a patient comes to hospice, our nurses give that patient top priority. They are managed with their pain, they are comfortable, they don't have to worry about stress and finances and all the other issues that go along with um, end of life concerns. The social workers at hospice are here to help with the family and the caregivers um, during that journey. We help with the emotional and spiritual process and it's just an entire philosophy that um, we're just here to take care of the family, do whatever we can. At Integrity Hospice, we're here for your family 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Welcome to Classic Cars here on TV 35 with Mike and Murray. Uh, along with us today, we have Mr. Ricky Brantley, and we're going to be talking about his Cobra. Tell us about your Cobra, brother Ricky. Well, it's a, uh, it's a, I have a lot of people ask me, was it a kit car? It's not a kit car, it's a replica. And the difference between a replica and a kit car is a kit car is you can buy a, a, a as a kit and put the modern day engine transmission and rear end in the car but a replica is built just like the original only it wasn't built by the original yeah. or builder yeah. um, this is a 1966 a 427 cobra it's a fiberglass body not an aluminum body like the original other than that same engine transmission rear end shelby wheels um, how i came by it was um, a good friend of mine by the name of Jan Baker called me and asked me would I be interested in fixing a Cobra because we do a lot of uh, antique and classic yeah. restoration jobs. So I uh, went down South Georgia, looked at the car. Uh, what happened was the owner of the car was caught out in the rain and he was in a hurry to get back home and was going around the curve too fast and it hydroplaned and he spun it around and around and went off the road. It, uh, minor damage to the right front fender, and on a Cobra, you don't replace the fender. You know, you don't buy fenders for these. You have to buy a body or replace it. So I went and looked at it, and it didn't bust the fiberglass, but it just put some stress cracks. So what I done was he asked me, uh, could I fix it? I said, yeah, no problem. So long story short, I had it at the shop, was working on it. He said, I want you to go ahead and redo the whole car while you got it. And I said, okay. So in the process, he called and said, how close are you on being through? And so I told him, and he said, well, I need you to go in and finish it. Uh, we're closing the shop in South Georgia, and we need the cash. So uh, being that I had always uh, wanted to have one of these, um, I kicked the idea around for a while, and I just got in the pickup and drove down into his place, and I uh, got to talk to him about the car, and I uh, made him an offer on the car, and he asked me, was I crazy, and I laughed at him. Choose the convenience of Neighbors Express and get friendly, courteous service every time you visit any of our convenient locations. Fill up with pay at the pump and take advantage of our bigger and better selection of beverages and tobacco products. And buy 12 packs of Pepsi products, two for $6.99. Enjoy the popular crushed ice with your favorite fountain drink. Also enjoy a fresh hot breakfast. Stop by for lunch or dinner. It's always fresh, always convenient at Neighbors Express at I-16 and 441, and in Cedar Grove, providing farm fuel for all our customers. Count on the convenience of Neighbors Express. Welcome to Classic Cars with Murray and Mike. We're here in Dublin, Georgia at Cruising the Pines, um, our car show benefit and Habitat for Humanity, and we're here today with Mr. Henry Moore. Glad to be here. I always come up here to this show just about every year, and other shows around your, your show at your church. No, we go to different places. Yes, sir. We sure appreciate you and all you've done for the Moore Station Village Car Show and for here in the park, uh, Cruising the Pines and the Mount Olive Church and Nazarene um, yep. car shows. We just really do appreciate you coming out and supporting our community in the way you do. And you've done it for numerous years. Yes. And we just want to say thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I just uh, 
like I say, I enjoy it, going to all you know different shows and yes, sir. over the years and just have a lot of fun. Yes, sir. And what can you tell us about your Mustang you brought today? Well, it's a 1968 Mustang, and I bought this car and ha and restored it all in the uh, last uh, six or seven years and started really showing it in 09. And I've done real well with it over the years. It's so, a beautiful car. Well, I appreciate that. And, just, and you can't beat red. A red car <laughs> at a car show. That's, <laughs> that's about <laughs> just a beautiful car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the original color of the car. It came from the factory. It was red. Uh -huh. Tendy Alpha Red. And later on, y'all see he has the hounds to... Uh, Truck liner and all in it. Oh yeah, he's got everything. It, wow. it's, it's man, I've judged this car before. I yeah. know it's it's a fine automobile. Yeah, it's back to I put it back everything because it was probably close to around 90, 95 percent original. Yeah. Good, good. Beautiful car, Mr. Yeah. Moore. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank yes, you. Sir. And best of luck. Today I'm with a good friend of mine, and uh, he's going to tell you about his car. And I've seen this car basically since I started showing cars. Uh, Gary has been participating in them, and Gary, we just want to just tell you how much we thank you for how many years you've supported our community and coming out and showing your car to benefit Habitat of Humanity. Uh, what can you tell us about your car today? Well, first off, you're certainly welcome. I always enjoy these, these car shows. Uh, this is a 1995 uh, Corvette. It's one of the last, well, it is the last year that they made the car in this particular color, which is polo green. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's basically, for the most part, stock. It's got the original paint that's never been repainted. Uh, it does have an SLP performance package, which uh, they use, that particular company makes a lot of performance parts for General Motors anyway. So when you use those parts, it's almost like a factory part anyway. But it boosted the, the power considerably, which is always a good thing. You know, yeah. <laughs> always a good thing. But I enjoy these car shows. I enjoy coming out. Uh, you know, you guys have always done a great job on the ones that, that, you, that you've participated in. And, uh, you know, meeting you and, and all the other car owners around is always a, a lot of fun, particularly with the weather as beautiful as this oh, is. it's a beautiful day out here. Oh, it's, beautiful. It, is, day. it is perfect. Yeah. It is absolutely perfect. Well, how long have you owned the car? I've owned this car for about 10 years. Uh -huh. I'm the, uh, the second owner, and uh, we just, uh, uh, they were... As you well know, when you th whenever you get a car, you're always going to want to make it your own. So there were a lot of changes that I made on the car when I got it. I didn't particularly like the stock shifter, so we changed the shifter and things. But I did find out this, that within the last 10 years, it's a lot harder to get up under this thing than it was 10 years ago. <laughs> you so need a lift. Yeah. I either need to lift up the car or get a lift. You're exactly <laughs> right. Or lose a little weight. I don't know which. <laughs> Probably a combination of both would be real nice. Well, we certainly appreciate you participating. Well, I, I enjoy it, and we thank y'all for what you do. We thank really you. do. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm with James Broderick, and uh, he's going to tell us about his Camaro. And I really love this Camaro. It brings back a lot of memories to me. And um, tell us a little bit about it. Well, I'd like to say it's a 1968 Camaro. Uh, I hadn't had it about, well, probably a little over a year and everything. I've done a few things up. Spruce few things to it, spruce it up a little bit. It's got approximately like 450 horses. Of course, it's a four speed, 350 motor, and uh, lower end on its balance, blueprint and stuff, so it, it's pretty fast. I, I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had a Super Sport 2 that pushes over 500 horsepower, so that's why I recognized it whenever uh, yeah. it come up. And uh, yeah, I sold that car, and I kind of wish it did. I wish I'd have kept it. Yeah. That's the one I started out with, and I, I loved it. I've, uh, this uh, green car over here, I, that's my son's car. I, re, uh, I did all the work on it. Yeah. I restored it. I worked on it about three and a half years. Wow. That's a original big block car. That's a lot of fun. How long have you been showing cars? Um, about, well, ever since, ever since I've done that one, so it's probably been four or five years. No I noticed the roll bar is in here. Have you, has it been down the strip? No. Uh, no, I hadn't took it down the strip. Most is set up so it looks like it's, you know, a race yes, car and stuff like that. Well, uh, whose idea was the black outlines and the black wheels and all? Well, the guy I got it, no, the guy I got it from, he, he, he decided to do that. 
and uh, the spoiler on the back because I got a blue spoiler, but that looks better with that spoiler. It does. I really like the color. That black, the yeah, color with the black too. wheels. And yes, sir. Well, like, to me, the black outlines. Yeah. That that makes this car. This yes, a, it, it does. It sets it apart from uh, from exactly. other cars. I love yeah. the black wheels. Yeah, 18-inch wheels. Yes, sir. You know, yeah, the yeah, tires yeah. that nice. makes it look a lot better because nice. the tires are pretty wide. It, it grips pretty good. Well, that's a beautiful car, and we, and we appreciate you coming and supporting our car show and our cause today. We're talking with Tory Watson yes, of Watson Towing Company. That's correct. Uh, yes. Watson Towing has sponsored uh, more Station Village car shows and the local car shows, and has been a part of the community for many years. And we want to say thank you at this time for all the great support y'all have given us. And we appreciate y'all. Thank you. Um, what can you tell us about your Jeep today? Well, it, it is an original 83 CJ7. It's still got all the original running gear and everything that. And it's just, it's just been kept in a garage and we get it out about once a year for a car show. Now, Tori, where'd you get it? That, actually, this came from uh, my pawn-in-law at Montrose, Georgia. Mont Big city of Montrose. He, he had it parked in a garage right there and wasn't going to do nothing with it, so we finally got it out and cleaned it up a little bit and yeah. went from there. Well, what's he think about it now? He loves it. I bet he does. He it's loves a beautiful, it. beautiful Jeep. Beautiful and and uh, how many times a year you go mud bogging? That is absolutely none in this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Beautiful. It's yeah, too beautiful. hard to get one cleaned up to go yeah. mud bogging in. Y'all yeah. done an excellent job redoing it. Yeah. Sure did. Beautiful. And, and that sure my did. youngin just gets all the compliments for cleaning this thing up. <laughs> she does a great job. I've seen her, you know, at the shows and she scrubs yeah. on it and polishing it. I, I tried to clean on it a little bit. She slapped my hand one time, so I give all that up. <laughs> That's when you just back off. Yeah, back off. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we do appreciate you and your dad both and hey, everything y'all do in the community uh, with your towing service. Yes, sir. And your support for all the, the benefits yeah. of Habitat and all. And uh, we just sure do thank you for coming out to Cruising in the Pines today. Thank you. I'm with Josh and Randy Hall. Uh, Josh and Randy has been in the uh, business for uh, showing these cars for several years now. Uh, I've met Josh uh, over the years of showing. Uh, he's always been a great supporter of all our shows to support Habitat for Humanity. Uh, he's been over at the uh, Nazarene Church and supported them in their uh, mission they had over there. And um, today, you also have Mike Brooks with me today, and he'll be asking you a couple of questions about your car. And I noticed one of them's a little different than the last time I seen it. Uh, yeah. w w what's that about? A girl's got to have a pink car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I like that. <laughs> It's got to be pink. It yeah. was green like his, it but was, I wanted yeah. it different, so I, I really we went like panther that. pink. What all else have you done to it? Everything. Yeah, <laughs> we went completely through it. Changed the drivetrain in it, motor and transmission, swapped it out from a small block to a big block. Wow. Uh, cloned it out to a Super B at Come Factory, a Cornet 440, and uh, redone all the interior in it, pretty much stripped it all the way down from, from ground up and redone it. Is this a factory color? It is a factory color, but it's a factory color from 1970. Uh, that's actually a 69. Uh -huh. it's, it's not a factory color for that car, but it's the color she wanted. She said she was spending her money, so she wanted hey, the color she wanted. Go. Well, I, don't, I really don't blame her. Happy, nobody that's else. right. I love yeah, that. I love both of them, and I hope the camera does it justice, because these are yes, sir. beautiful colors. Yes, I love sir. them. Very beautiful yes, cars. Sir. They sure are. Well, y'all, we sure appreciate y'all coming out today and uh, taking part in this show. And thank you uh, for participating in our classic cars here on yes, TV 35. Sir.